I decided to make this video to do a quick life update. I got my veneers done in Cancun, Mexico. So, if you guys are interested, the first question is how much did it cost? So, it costed me a total of 12 grand, so 10 grand to get all my veneers done. I got 24 veneers. I'll explain in the later part of the video why 24 or why I have to do 24. Uh, but $10,000 for that and then $2,000 for the hotel and maybe another $500 here and there for other expenses. So maybe get close to $12,500. So that's how much it costed me to do a full mouth makeover. Am I happy with it? Yeah. I get to smile more now. I'm not holding back too much because I know my teeth is white and properly shaped. Don't have anything that's holding me back. So I'm pretty much very happy with the result and I don't regret my choice to do veneers. And the place that I got it done is, as you can tell from the title, it's called Cancun Dental Specialist. And now if you guys are interested, let's get into the details. Why did I choose to get my teeth done? Let's start with that, right? So I'll throw in some before pictures for you guys to see how it was before. But if you see the close-up of the pictures, when I was younger, I already had my teeth broken because of something stupid that I did when I was a kid. And I had two top, the front teeth, and the bottom one broken, and I did veneers, oh, not veneers, sorry, crowns back when I was younger. This was like 15 years back, back in India. And every 15 years, or 10 to 20 years, they say, you have to replace your crowns. So if you know anything about dental work, Back in India, like 10 years back and stuff, they didn't have all the sophisticated technology, so the products that they have today, so the ones that I got, it never matched with my other teeth. Not just the color, but also the fact that the shape and how it felt inside my mouth never matched. So I just didn't care about it that uh, a lot at that time. But, um, it was time for me to get that replaced to, to match and also to fit better with my other teeth. So that's how it all started, right? I was also never happy with the color of my teeth. So I don't know, for some reason it was all, always yellow. So I tried all the home remedies like from charcoal to different kind of teeth whitening strips and stuff like that. It never worked for me. So I was watching a few videos of the years and how oh, the technology advanced so much now you can get them <clears throat> done just like the celebrities and stuff right but the cost of it is at least in the US when I inquired it was close to between $1,500 to $2,500 per tooth so how many teeth do you have to get done it depends on your smile so for me you see I show a lot of teeth right so all the way to the side, all of my teeth show when I smile. So that's just the unfortunate part of how my uh, smile is. And because of that, I have to get a, at least 10 to 12 sets of teeth on the top and the bottom if I'm trying to match. For some people, for you, if you smile and if you show four, or six, eight, then that's all you need to replace, right? So whatever you show, that's what you gotta replace. Um, such, uh, so that's how much veneer teeth it's gonna cost you, right? So if you just show, let's say, six teeth, right? When you smile, and it's it's gonna cost maybe roughly, let's average it to two thousand dollars per tooth. Times when you multiply, it's gonna be twelve grand on top. If you decide to do the bottom too, then it's another twelve twenty four grand, right? So for me, it's ten twelve teeth. 24 top and bottom times two 
now you're looking at close to 40, 45 grand. And that's a lot of money for, to be putting in your teeth. And I wanted to get it done back in India because um, I am from India and I'm comfortable. And it's just not like dentistry in US is so sophisticated. The pricing is just outrageous. In a lot of other countries, I truly believe they have better technologies or equivalent, but the pricing is less because they cater to the people over there and not everybody in other countries or other parts of the world are rich compared to people in the United States. So I wanted to get it done back in India, but then the flight is like 25 hours and it's a whole month process if I were to go get it done over there. So then I started looking at other countries and I came across this video where this guy got his teeth done to, Can uh, to Cancun Dental Specialist. And so I looked into the clinic more and type of work that they do. I, it felt like they were not just a cosmetic dental place, but they took care of everything from regular cleaning to all the way to root canal treatments to everything. So you want a place that can take care of everything that comes with it so they have the expertise and the knowledge, not just like a veneer tip that you see on TikTok that will grind your teeth and slap some veneers on the top and uh, don't do no x-rays or anything. And then if you run into issues, then it's going to be a lot of problem, right? So, so when I did my research, I totally felt comfortable with this clinic. So I started getting some pricing from them and their price was $400 per teeth and 24 times 400. Um, so originally I was gonna get done 10, 10 teeth, right? Cause they asked me to send me a picture of my smile and based on what I show, they quoted me that, hey, you have 10 teeth that needs to get done. So this is how much the pricing is. It was close to eight grand or something. And the bottom was the same, uh, the top and bottom included. Um, so I was set to get it done. And then I booked this ticket for like a one week trip to Cancun. Uh, they did send transportation from the hotel uh, and back to the clinic and stuff and vice versa all throughout the seven days. So that was a good perk. So day one, um, it was x-rays and they checked the health of my teeth and I I have a good eating habit. I don't do a whole bunch of junk eating because of fitness and stuff. Um, so I didn't have any ex uh, existing problems to begin with and they confirmed with the x-rays and then um, started um, looking at my teeth and the dentist recommended me to do crowns on the molars uh, since I'm getting a lot of teeth done versus veneers. And they said it costs the same. It's just uh, they're gonna have to shave more of your teeth a little bit more compared to a veneer. Veneer is like a nail, right? So if your teeth is like that, they have to shave a little bit here and then they slap the veneer on the top. For a crown, they would have to sh shave the teeth all the way around and they put a crown on the top. And I chose to go with the crowns on the molars as per their recommendation because when you eat and stuff, you don't want to be thinking in, in the back of your head, can I eat this? Or you don't want to be worried about the teeth coming off or breaking and stuff like that. Because sometimes you see a whole bunch of people who have done veneers complain how their veneer popped off when they ate something crunchy or bit something they shouldn't, that's a little bit harder or something. So I decided to do the molars as crowns and the front as veneers. So day one was more so talking through what needs to be done, the costs associated with it and basically any questions that I might have as a follow-up before they start messing around with your teeth. Um, so that was all successful and they recommended me to go with 12 teeth because when I smile, I showed a little bit more. 
on the side than I sent in the original picture. So the cost was close to 10 grand now instead of eight. Um, I had a choice. I could have gone with 10 or 12, but I was like, okay, I'm getting it done. I don't want the yellow to be showing when I'm smiling hard. And so I was like, okay, I might as well get it done the other four as well, right? So I'm here. So day two, I come in and they started to numb my teeth. Was it painful? Not so much because they put a topical cream and, and where you can't feel your gums. And then they put injections, uh, anesthesia uh, all around your mouth. Um, I would say since I was getting, getting a lot of teeth, close 24 teeth done, the prep was all day and towards the end I was like tired right so because you're opening your mouth and it's just so much you stand in that same position for throughout the day so so first day I would say was pretty much prep right uh, they shave down teeth a little bit take a lot of uh, molds to prep for the temporaries and anesthesia and stuff like that right so um, I would say very uncomfortable, uh, if I'm being honest, um, because of the number of teeth that I got done, right? It was an all day process from nine to almost like 5.30 for me with a maybe 30 minute break. So, so, so as you can imagine, I'm, I'm in the dental office like this all that time. Uh, they got the tooth shaving down and then put my temporaries on. The temp felt weird. The good thing about Cancun Dental Specialists is they have an in-house labor laboratory where they can make the porcelain teeth instead of another dentist here might just send the mold to a lab somewhere in a different state and they would have to wait for the mold to come back. So compared to that, this process, because of the in-house lab they had, they just needed two days to make my teeth versus two, three months. Because a lot of times when you hear stories of people wearing their temps for three weeks, four weeks, two months or whatever, and the temps are not glued in proper, so my hear stories of them breaking and while they eat something, more sensitivity and stuff like that. So that was a good part. Day three, uh, it was a break. And then day four, again, it was an all day process for me. Uh, started with the anesthesia and then now they are removing my temps and again, doing a lot of x-rays, making sure everything is in proper and stuff like that. But they have the porcelain teeth. So this is not zirconia, which I had originally when I put in, in India. Um, this is porcelain teeth. This is a better quality teeth uh, in the dental world and it doesn't stain with coffee or anything like that. So that's a good part. All right, so if you can see, there's a little bit of shine to it. Uh, compared to zirconia teeth, which is more opaque. Uh, so you're not gonna see light pass through and the term that they use is called translucency. That's what's gonna make your teeth seem normal, seem realistic compared to a mask teeth, right? So all white and opaque, like a block. So, so they, Day four was more so they made the teeth in the lab, but it has to fit right. As I said, uh, I have my molars in the top and the top and the bottom that are crowned, so it has to fit right. So they take one teeth at a time and make sure they um, put it in and see if it fits right. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit, then the process is they take the teeth and make a lot of minor adjustments. They do a lot of bite checks to make sure your chewing is proper. Um, and then they cement the teeth so it's permanent, right? So it started off with the top and the bottom and the center and they work their way around the teeth. And it's a very lengthy process. Again, it was a whole day process for me, but 
they do one teeth at a time and they make sure that they do it proper because if, if you don't cement it proper, if there's a gap or something, then you can literally get cavities and bacteria that can grow inside and, and affect your real teeth and you don't want that, right? So day four was again, a very long day for me. Uh, once I got done day four, I was very sensitive and I was told that I'm going to be sensitive. So I was kind of expecting that. Uh, and then day five is more so checking my bikes proper, x-raying and make sure that the teeth was sitting in the right places so it's not in gaps or anything. And I also had a problem when I did this. I had one of my bottom teeth kind of hit the top. So any issues like that, they correct it on day five, make sure you're comfortable like a real mop, right? Uh, so they grind the backside of my teeth that was hitting a little bit, so it doesn't hit. And they did a lot of bite checks, x-rays. So day five went well, but I still had a lot of sensitivity towards hot and cold stuff, right? So I was told that I should expect that for the next one to two months. For some people, it might be two, two weeks, one week or whatever, right? But depends on how much, how much teeth or how many teeth you get done. And in my case, I got close to, oh, not close to, actually, 24 teeth done, so <laughs> it was a lot of teeth, right? So you know, I wasn't, uh, not gonna lie, I was in pain medication, um, ibuprofen, uh, because of the sensitivity, right? So, but after three, four days, it kind of subsided. And they also say you need to wear a retainer mouth guard. So that's also another thing that they gave, so your teeth doesn't shift. So basically, um, your new teeth has to stay in the same place and, and since it's new if you grind when you are in the bed in the night any movement you don't want it to happen to your new teeth so they give you a retainer a top mouth guard that you need to wear before you go to bed so your place uh, your teeth stays in the same place right so Am I happy with the result? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I was never proud of my teeth like how I am today now. Um, and I, if you were wondering, uh, the color that I went with is BL3. So they had a color array. BL1 is the absolute white that you can get, like a Mr. Mr. White. And then they have BL2, BL3. Basically, BL stands for bleach. And then BL4. And then you have your naturals like A1, A2, A3, A4. So I went with BL3. If I'm spending, if I'm dropping 10 grand, I want it to be white. So, but at the same time, I don't want it to be like super white, like artificially white. Um, so my choice was BL3. I am very happy with this result. The only thing I would say is because of the number of teeth that I got done, um, now it's about close to two months and I still have some sensitivity towards the cold drinks, anything cold. Um, so um, again, I see it's going down, so I'm gonna give it a month and see how I feel. And uh, But other than that, I don't have any, um, any other pain or any other issues. And, Overall, I'm very happy with the result and I'm glad I got it done. So, would I recommend Cancun Dental Specialist to anybody else? Yes, I would. If you have any questions about the process or if you have any other questions about veneers or crowns or pricing or anything else, comment below. But with that said, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.